All right, Stock Master fans, this is a request from a few years ago. I don't remember who requested it, but recently acquired this movie. It's called The Pack. Let's check it out. Okay, we're on an island, a place called Seal Island. That is a horse. And this is a pack of wild dogs chasing that horse. This is a family that is vacationing there for the summer, but now they're leaving. He's got to leave the dog behind. So what does this bastard do? He takes the dog, ties it to a tree, and says, someone will come along and get you later. Wonderful humans. That is Jerry, played by Joe Don Baker. Well, that's old Mac Manley trying to hook up his dog. Sure depends on that dog. This is his wife, Millie. Looks like they're building a house on the island. <clears throat> How do the turtles do? Very slow. I'm glad Hardeman's horse. Emma? Yeah. Long way off from where Clyde said he tied him. Maybe he was sick and wandered off. They found that horse that we saw in the beginning. Marks some chips on his bones there. Let him kill him and ate him. Right. Come on, boy. Jerry has a run in with a mean looking dog. They get lost. Sometimes tourists, they deliberately leave them behind. They pick them up the pound, they bring them over to play with for the summer, and then they leave them. But they starve. That's right. Anyway, that poor dog that got tied up eventually gets loose and joins a group of other dogs. It's now part of the pack. This old man was blind as a dog, and he hears a commotion outside. The dogs get into a fight. And this is the end of the old man. They killed his dog, now they're going to kill him. Millie has a run in as well. Jerry shows up just in time. And here's this guy, Tommy. He's getting chased by the pack. They chase him to the top of the cliff. He's got nowhere to go. Jerry stops by that old man's house. Gets in his car and leaves, and apparently he left just in time. That's Ned Wertimer from the Jeffersons, Ralph the Doorman. Clearly they now know they have a problem and the bodies start piling up. There's another one. This guy believes he's found where the dogs are. Ultimately, the dogs are going to get him, too. Why did he get out of the car? He's actually going to survive this attack, at least briefly. Because he's not breathing. Hello, 
about makes you a bank president, don't it? That's in damn poor taste, Mr. Cobb. Hard for me to get upset when a fool dies. They're all now taking cover in this house. And the dogs are getting in. Well, that's one down. They sent one guy out in the water to get to the other side of the island, or the other side of the mainland. That other guy was R.G. Marshall, but he suffered a heart attack or something as he was trying to paddle. Ralph the doorman tries to flag down a boat. It doesn't work. Perhaps they were turned off by his funky pants. Here's Jerry running over some dogs. Back at the house again and the dogs have busted in. Bed springs. And when bed springs can't help you, the best thing to do is just jump. Dog jumped after him and died. They decide to burn the house down. All the dogs are inside. Kind of like the end of Salem's Lot. Salem's Mutt. Come across one more outside. Our movie ends with him giving a cracker to the dog and the dog uh, licking his hand. That's a good one. Alright, let's talk about this movie, The Pack, from 1977, a horror movie. Again, this is something that somebody actually recommended like three years ago and said, hey, can you review this movie? I didn't have the movie. I recently had somebody send me this movie off of my Amazon wish list, so thank you, Marty, uh, for that. And now we're watching it. So it's from the Warner Archive Collection. So anyway, it's killer dog movies, what it is. We have these people who are on an island, a place called Seal Island. It was actually filled in Bodega Bay, California, kind of northwest of San Francisco. Um, apparently, it's, a, it's like a vacation island where people come there in the summertime. They get dogs from the pound, and then they leave them there. Um, and apparently it's a problem. Now, that seems like an outrageous problem. To me. That, that, that just doesn't seem realistic. But whatever, that's the plot of the story. People leave these dogs stranded on the island after they go home for the summer. And then they just, the dogs basically starve. So then they, what happens is these dogs have formed a pack and now they're attacking people. Got to do what you can to survive, right? Anyway, Joe Don Baker is Jerry. He's living on this island or he's building a home on this island actually with his wife Millie and his two kids. Um, B.B. Besh is in this, um, Sherry DeBoer, I think was her name, R.G. Marshall. Anyway, you basically have dogs attacking the humans, uh, a few people are killed, a horse is killed. They try to figure out what's going on, they eventually figure out that it is dogs are doing this. Ultimately, at the end of this movie, they're kind of trapped in this house, the dogs break in, uh, Joe Don Baker and everybody else manage to get out, and then they burn up the house and uh, set it aflame and it burns down and uh, apparently all the dogs are burned inside. And that's it. They can encounter one dog at the end, and the dog, they feed it a cracker. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a friendly dog, so maybe the problem has been solved. I don't know. Anyway, that's the movie. Um, no nudity in this movie. There is some violence, obviously, a little bit of blood, some gore, and a dead horse. And uh, it's just the, the premise was bizarre, though, that this is a real problem, that people are abandoning their dogs. They're like... Uh, having a pet for a few months and then getting rid of their dog. I don't know. It's a strange, strange premise, but whatever. The movie itself is actually pretty well done for what it is. It's obviously a schlocky type film, but um, the dogs were very well trained. They seemed vicious and it was really kind of cool. No CGI or anything like that back in 1977. So again, they, they, it was very, very well done actually for what it is. It's kind of a cheap little film, but it was kind of cool. So 
Anyway, that's pretty much it for uh, for the pack. Uh, like I said, you can get this uh, from Warner Archives. I'll leave a link down below to Amazon if you want to pick this up. It's pretty inexpensive, maybe 10, 12 bucks or so, and well worth it. So anyway, check it out. It's called the pack, and if whoever recommended this uh, three, two, three years ago, thank you. So check it out. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. It's called the pack. Watch it. Bye.